This was in 1984. I was studying geology at University McGill, and I was playing rugby for the school team. So after uh, spring practice, um, during exam period, we all went out drinking, as rugby players do. And then we decided as a prank that we'd steal the flag from McGill. Um, I guess it's kind of a tradition, people steal flags at university. The most obvious flag to steal was in the arts building, where the big auditorium is, where all the famous guest speakers come and talk. And the flags are suspended about 20, 25 feet off the ground, vertically, above these, you know, concrete floor. So anyway, it's Friday night, all the buildings are locked up, we have to get in. We broke in through a painting studio, made a lot of noise, the security guards come running, these are the little men in their little, uh, you know, rent-a-cop uniforms, and they chase us out. But we were very determined to steal the flag, so now we have to think of another plan. But actually, because we were so clever and so drunk. We decided to go back to the same place thinking that they'll never look twice. So we broke in a second time. We made it down to the hallway where the flags were. Now we had to figure out a way to actually steal the flag. My friend helps me with this, you know, I put my foot in his hands, so I go up on the window ledge, and then I had to jump from that ledge like Tarzan and grab the bottom of the flag, climb up to the top of the flag, take out the knife and start cutting it away. The thing is, is that once I start cutting the flag, the flag would tear and then I would just fall to the ground. Not a very good idea, actually. So I start cutting away, and then I had so much momentum from cutting, holding on with one hand and cutting with the other, it starts swinging and swinging and swinging back and forth, it actually lost my balance, and I just fell, splat, hit the concrete floor. I remember falling, I don't remember what happened after that. And the guy I was with thought I was dead, I wasn't moving for a few seconds, and then blood starts pooling around my head like I'd been shot in some, some cheap B-movie. He thought we were in big trouble. Then according to him, I jump up, look right, look left, you know, dash out, whew, ran out of the building. My friend caught up to me in the McGill ghetto a few blocks later, walking around rather delirious, you know, covered in blood, saying, what day is it? When's my next exam? So he brings me to the hospital, and they stitch me up. But apparently in my, in my delirium, I managed to ask two or three of the nurses for their phone numbers. They sent me home, pass out for a couple of days, managed to make it through my exams, didn't fail any of them. But anyway, this is a scar and I'm quite proud of it. Reminds me of, uh, of when I was young and foolish. Oh!